Okay, uh, YouTube, let's look at uh, something here. This is the digital VT100 terminal. As you can see, up on power up, this one has random garbage on the screen. Uh, also went through this, this keyboard. Of course, it has some specialized keycaps, which uh, the labeling on it doesn't compare. Uh, this one is actually L, this light here is L1, L2, L3, and L4 position. So, in the actual keyboard, this is L2, which is indicating ROM4 in the diagnostics. Um, you can actually, uh, we've actually removed the cover and looked at set the cover over and and ran some tests on it um, go ahead here and power down our terminal uh, we will unplug our keyboard and we will slide out our module And a little one-handed here, a little difficult. And we will take the module, we'll take the module over. Uh, we will uh, be removing the video extra video adapter uh, adapter here, which has the ROMs underneath, and this one is one in this position one two three and four this is showing up to be our failed uh, ROM according to diagnostics uh, one thing uh, once you figure out some of the tricky logic you can actually put this in and read it as a 2716 uh, the, this, uh, this ROM does have an encoder, or a decoder, actually built in. What I don't understand is, this ROM did read, and I did do a compare file, uh, to, um, the online files that I found, uh, of this ROM, and they did compare, uh, not really sure why I was able to get the bad ROM to read, um, but anyhow, um, trying to do a direct replacement for those ROMs using a uh, 2716. The original ROMs are 8316E programmable. They're one-shot program ROMs. Uh, kind of reviewed, uh, kind of designed this little circuit here to replace. Uh, this will have to be on like a little daughter board, uh, which will be uh, our four EPROMs and our 74LS139 here, which will be our decoder, which will um, be selecting our uh, address line A11 and A12. And um, I've just found out that this, this line here, CS1, I will have to run it through an inverter because this line here is active high instead of active low uh, to enable the ROMs. Uh, these EPROMs here are, are all active low. Uh, again, we'll have to... Uh, kind of construct this little circuit, program all the ROMs, uh, build a ribbon cable uh, with a header and so forth, and just lay this board out to the side with all the ROMs in order. Again, don't know why this is, though. Uh, there's the data from the supposedly bad ROM. So, again, it did compare with the file. Uh, but yet, diagnostic uh, does indicate that uh, that this uh, this particular uh, chip in this position 
is is actually the failed chip and you could go out through here pull any one of these uh, any one of these ROMs uh, and try to power the terminal up with the ROM out and it will give the error uh, it will turn on the correct light on the keyboard uh, according to diagnostics so uh, that almost clears uh, anything else basically because we know that the what software is in ROM 1 or ROM 0 is actually uh, running to uh, actually turn on the keyboard indications so 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 we do know it is running uh, it's going all through all uh, ROM 1, 2, and 3 and hanging at ROM 4 um, unless something is internal in the chip that is not operating at its given speed or something weird of that nature but uh, uh, anyone got any ideas? Uh, I will be constructing this uh, circuit to use the 2716s uh, in the place of the original uh, 8316. Uh, let me know. Uh, anybody have any ideas? Anybody's been through this? Well, let me know.